The third episode of Abraham's earlier interactions with others is the story of Abraham's rescue of Lot in chapter 14, verse 1 through verse 24. This complex story described how Abraham defeated powerful, tyrannical kings who had come from afar and how he showed further kindness to Lot by rescuing him from these tyrannical kings. This story spoke rather plainly to the Israelites following Moses. As Israel passed through the lands of the Moabites and Ammonites who descended from Lot, the army of Israel defeated the tyrannical kings Sihon of the Amorites and Og of Bashan, both of whom had oppressed the Moabites and Ammonites. By rescuing the Moabites and Ammonites in this way, Israel followed the model that Abraham had set for them. And so it is that in each episode of this step of Abraham's life, Abraham was presented as a model for the Israelites to follow in their own times. Now we come to the third major step of Abraham's life, the covenant that God made with the patriarch in chapter 15, verse 1 through chapter 17, verse 27. In general terms, this step focuses on God's covenant with the patriarch in ways that reveal the character of Israel's covenant relationship with God. These chapters divide into three main segments. The first episode focuses especially on God's covenant promises to Abraham in chapter 15, verse 1 through verse 21. This chapter is the well-known account of the time when God entered into covenant with Abraham. God promised to give Abraham progeny and land. Specifically, God promised that Abraham would have a multitude of descendants and that after a time of mistreatment in a foreign land, Abraham's descendants would be brought back to the land of promise. This passage was designed to remind the Israelites that God had made a similar covenant with Israel through Moses. And more than this, it showed them that they themselves were experiencing the fulfillment of God's promises to Abraham. The Israelites were Abraham's promised progeny, and they were returning to the very land that God had promised to their patriarch. To doubt these facts was to doubt the gracious covenant promises God had made to Abraham and reaffirmed with Moses. The second episode that focuses on God's covenant with Abraham is the patriarch's failure with Hagar in chapter 16, verse 1 through verse 16. This sad story recalls how Abraham and Sarah turned from the covenant promises of God by seeking a child through Sarah's Egyptian handmaiden, Hagar. Abraham and Sarah failed to trust God's covenant promises, but God rejected their alternative plan by not accepting the child Ishmael as Abraham's true seed. Moses' original audience repeatedly turned from God's promises in covenant and desired the comforts of Egypt. And this story from Abraham's life taught them that just as Abraham's plan had been rejected, their alternatives to God's plan would also be rejected. The third episode focusing on God's covenant with Abraham is the account of Abraham's covenant requirements in chapter 17, verse 1 through verse 27. In this passage, God confronted the patriarch over his failure to follow God's plan. The Lord also reasserted the need for covenant loyalty by instituting circumcision as a covenant sign that was to be applied to Abraham and his sons. By this sign, God reminded Abraham that his covenant relationship entailed the responsibility of loyalty and that loyalty would lead to great blessings. Moses recounted this side of Abraham's covenant to confront the Israelites in his day over their failures to remain faithful and to reassert the Israelites' need for covenant loyalty. Only as the Israelites were faithful to their covenant God could they rightly hope for his great blessings. So the centerpiece of Abraham's life, his covenant with God, drew attention to the grace of God's marvelous promises to Israel, but it also forcefully reminded his audience that they were obligated to display loyal service to their covenant God. Now we come to the fourth step of Abraham's life, his later interactions with others in chapter 18, verse 1, 
through chapter 21, verse 34. In these chapters, Abraham encountered various people who were associated with people living in Moses' day. Abraham interacted with the Canaanite inhabitants of Sodom and Gomorrah, with Lot, Abimelech, and Ishmael. In general terms, Abraham's interactions with these people taught Israel how they were to interact with the Canaanites, the Moabites and Ammonites, and the Philistines and Ishmaelites of their day. The first story of this portion of the patriarch's life is the account of Sodom and Gomorrah in chapter 18, verse 1 through chapter 19, verse 38. This well-known narrative tells of the threat of divine judgment against the evil Canaanite cities. It tells about Abraham's concern for the righteous in those cities and the destruction of the cities, as well as Lot's rescue. These events spoke directly to the situation facing Moses' original audience. They helped them understand what was happening with people living in their day, God's threat against the Canaanites, the concern they were to have for the righteous among the Canaanites, like Rahab, whom they later encountered in Jericho, the destruction that was sure to come against the evil Canaanite cities, and their relationship with Lot's descendants, the Moabites and the Ammonites.